Thank you, Mr. Helander. Thank you so much for giving me a couple of minutes to talk about this awesome, fascinating, incredible film. Uh, I have to tell you, it's one of my favorites of this year so far. So congrats, it's such a wonderful film. So um, let me start by, by, by asking you, how, how did this story come about? Uh, come on, tell, it, it, because it, it is crazy. What were you thinking about? <laughs> um, I have had a, um, uh, many years an idea of uh, somebody finding a lot of gold in Lapland because we have a lot of stories like that in the older days of, of the gold rush in Finland. But when I, a couple of years ago, uh, was thinking about the war in Lapland and how the Nazis destroyed the whole place and, and, uh, and then th these two ideas like uh, came together and after, like a minute after that, I, I knew exactly what I was doing. Like it was the coolest movie idea moment in my life so far because it was so clear mm -hmm. and, and the idea is so simple. Uh, so I wish every idea would like come to my head like that did. Excellent. Thank you for that. I see. I see that your background. Love both posters. I'm gonna look into the rare export. Uh, export one of my favorite films. So I'm gonna look into that poster. Okay. I I see there uh, Rambo. I I know that you. There's a lot of uh, 80s influences in your films in your work, but I also in this film in Sisu, I I also see perhaps some uh, Quentin Tarantino at least in the episodic structure. Am I wrong? What can you tell me about the the, the, the structure of of the episodes? Well, the structure of the episodes came along when I was editing the film. I had an idea, what if I would have these episodes? And in the just before it was done, I took them away, but then everyone wanted them back. So now they are there, and I think it's cool. But what comes to the influences, uh, I think it's a bit unfair to, to say that if you are like mimic, mimicking the same movies Tarantino does, you are copying Tarantino rather than the movies like he is copying. Because okay. <laughs> like the, the fonts and, and the look of the film, mm -hmm. of course, comes from like Sergio Leone's Westerns yes. and, yeah. and, and the Prince of River Kwai and, and films like that. Uh, but of course, Tarantino has made that style really famous, and and uh, and of course, I myself I can't say how much this belongs to Tarantino. Also, like it's impossible to say where where it comes basically. So now that you mentioned that that Tarantino is kind of, well not, not mimicking, but it, 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 his influence comes also from from probably Sergio Leone uh, 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 filmography. Um, what is your what are your eighties and nineties action films uh, favorites, and and what did you try to probably sneak to into Sisu? Like you know, for example, First Blood Rambo. You know what? I, I love this scene, and I would like to try something. Probably around this in, into my new film. Well, it isn't like that exact. Okay, it's just like a feel of of these old westerns with with vast landscapes and open, like really huge shots of something and and really close up of some things and and uh, and uh, and the cinematic way of explaining things rather than speaking everything aloud like. Like having explained in a dialogue, just to find a way how to shoot it, not having to explain it in words. Uh, I think that all comes from the old Western films and and uh, uh, and also in uh, well, I've grew up watching a lot of action films and and <laughs> it's been a dream of mine to do an action film since I was something like ten. So. Uh, I'm lucky to be here now. It, it <laughs> hasn't been easy every day. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I, I'm also an action action uh, film uh, uh, fanatic. So, um, tell me about working with Jorma. Uh, you've worked previously with him in Rare Imports and Big Game. So, how how, how has this relationship between director actor uh, evolved? Well, Jorma was 
of course my only choice of <laughs> who who this guy would be uh i know him so well he knows me very well uh and we knew exactly what we were doing and i i know what he's capable of he understands my way of thinking mm -hmm. so so the history is there in a way and in in a big way also to, that we have built this trust for each other so so we we could do something like this well how about the the, the female component of this of this madness how did the idea come about because you avoid the stereo stereotyping them the, the female component of the film as those probably maybe the trauma films of the 80s or the final girls in the horror movies uh here here they are so so important and crucial but in a war movie this is not usual what, what can you tell me about how do you come about uh the the female component of the film um i i wanted to uh i don't know uh, the first idea was because I read a lot of stuff, what's happening in Lapland back then. Uh, a lot of uh, female, Finnish female uh, mm -hmm. got to get captured with the Nazis and some of them live, left their home places like uh, for free with, with joining the Nazi forces. And, and um, But that's where, where the idea came from because I needed to have somebody from Finland to mm -hmm. explain, to explain the legend behind art. I mean, to the Nazi guys in in the third act, and uh, I needed to have this like a fearless woman, and and he's fearless like like uh, Dennis Hopper is in in True Romance, if you remember when he's explaining to the uh, he knows he's gonna mm -hmm. die like a minute after this, so he can talk whatever he wants, and. Uh, that was the idea of behind like I know character too. Like he can he almost tells like a scary story to the <laughs> Nazis in, in a way. And because she's from Finland and because the other girls are also from Finland, I needed them to have their own revenge rather than be saved. I, I wanted them to join Adam's like <laughs> like an attack and and uh and uh, help help him to accomplish yeah. his goals also that makes it more special and without without spoiling mm -hmm. uh, obviously uh the, the, those sequences but uh, you, you practically answered my next question but tell me a little bit about the historical moment in which the film takes place because uh, as you were mentioning it, it has some importance more probably than the action the blood the madness the shock the shocking sequences everything is justified or anchored in 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 this particular historical moment that perhaps not many people know what would you like people to get from this film apart besides the the action and the war and the and the blood to me it's imp interesting to be in a in a time and a place of not having any rules anymore because the war has basically the German troops. They know that the war is war is coming to an end, and they mm -hmm. they are losing. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't have to care anything anymore. They they don't have to like this particular state dead squad. They don't have to follow the rules. They are doing what the fuck they want. They don't care anything about anything anymore. So they are very dangerous because of that. Mm -hmm. And and uh, I wanted. To, to them to be like tired and dangerous and and uh, and the mean mm -hmm. assholes <laughs> and 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 to have like the same the same thing what Adam is thinking that would save his life because he has lost the meaning of his life and he he's trying to find gold to find like a new meaning to his life and it's also the new meaning of of uh, of the Nazis the the leader of the troop maybe that's his way out of this madness mm -hmm. but but he uh like fucked with the wrong dude about that so. <laughs> <laughs> they are both sides has not has nothing to lose uh basically yeah. so one, one last question uh Yomari. um what um what what is your what is your next project and what would you like to be your next project 
probably maybe a, a sequel to, to Sisu? Well, I have, have also the sequel in mind. And I'm also writing a new kind of like a badass action film. <laughs> and there's some projects from Hollywood which are interesting. And we also have this sci-fi film which we probably will shoot this year if we get to that point but let's see what happens there's a lot of options and i'm not sure what's going to happen first excellent my time is my time is up thank you very much you have a huge fan here love the film one of my best films this, this year so far so again congratulations and, and and stay safe wherever you are have a great day thank you very much thank you very much